what more do we know at this stage of the fate of those who survived this shipwreck? Well, our teams were at disembarkation points in uh, in homes where people, survivors, were brought back. We were there to, to provide psychological first aid as well as medical care. Uh, people are really shocked, as you can imagine. Uh, some of them lost family members, and it's extremely difficult. The mere idea of sending these people who have experienced such a traumatic experience to detention centers and to a detention center that we know has been subject subjected to an airstrike is just unimaginable. The conditions then at this center, this migrant detention center, what more do we know about how they stand at this stage? So it's a detention center where MSF used to work or was working, was providing health care on a regular basis. Uh, we, we were in the detention center, in Tajura detention center, on the day of the attack. We were there uh, immediately after the attack. It's, uh, it's not the first attack on the detention center, but the second. It is based in a military complex, and that means that it is likely to be targeted again. And uh, to think that instead of evacuating people, we're bringing more people to the detention center is also quite reflective of how mad the situation is. We have, on the one hand, UNHCR and, the, and NGOs trying to get people out of these detention centers for their own safety. And we have the EU supporting the Libyan Coast Guard who are intercepting people and then bringing them to these detention centers. And uh, that has to stop. Bringing people to detention centers has to stop. Even more when we're talking about survivors who have gone through such a traumatic experience. Well, actually, on that point, Hasiba, we've heard from the Not Italians right, particularly, sure. they consider this a safe port of disembarkation. This is Libya. What is your message to EU governments, EU leaders this afternoon? Well, Libya is not a safe port of disembarkation, and the Italian authorities know very well that it's not a safe port of disembarkation. There's an ongoing conflict raging in the country. The conditions of detention are disastrous. UNHCR has said that Libya is not a place of safety, and this kind of game has to stop. Libya is not a place of safety. It's been said by a number of institutions, UNHCR primarily, and it is European countries should upheld their obligation. It is out of question to send people back to Libya. Yet this is what's happening when we're supporting the Libyan Coast Guard, we're sending back people to the detention centers. So I think European countries know very well of their obligations and know very well that Libya is not a place of safety. It makes actually it makes me angry that in spite of everything that's happening, in spite of the attack on Tajura, in spite of the ongoing conflict, you would have politicians still pretend that Libya is a place of safety. That's well, so Siba Hajj Sarawi from Medicine Sans Frontières. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme. Great to hear your thoughts. Thank you.